Hey all, today I want to talk about scar tissue uh, and why scar tissue is important in understanding why you have pain and compromised movement. So how does that work? Well, imagine cutting through the skin, through the fascia and the muscles, let's say for example like a, uh, a C-section, a caesarean section. Many women go into hospital they have a baby and the scalpel goes through the abdominal fascia, the abdominal muscles, through the, the so-called core stabilizing muscle, the, the transversus abdominis, and then is stitched back up without any regard for what needs to happen. And then often told six weeks afterwards so that they can resume normal exercise such as running. But what has actually happened? Well, imagine all this clumping of skin, fascia, uh, abdominal muscle tissue, the fascia on the inside which may adhere to internal organs. This can cause a problem. So bear in mind if we don't have any abdominal stabilizing mechanisms, then our brain is going to recruit global compensation strategies of using other muscles to try and stabilize that area. And you can often see many women who've had C-sections will have back pain within the space of a couple of years, or maybe even immediately afterwards, because the core stabilizing muscles have actually been shut down. So what the brain does, um, imagine we have a general, uh, a, a com computer that, that gives the signal out for how we should be moving. Um, now that pattern or the signal that's actually produced is, becomes dysfunctional because it says, hang on, I can't actually recruit these muscles, they've been taken out of action. What other muscles can I now use to bring about that action? Um, and what happens over a period of time is we develop this, um, this pattern of recruitment. And consider it like water coming down a mountainside. Once it's found its path, it's very, very hard to change that. But you can actually change it. What needs to happen is the central nervous system needs to be given a signal to say, hang on, I, I'm not working as well as I could be at the moment, and maybe it's the scar tissue that's actually causing me to shut down all the other muscles that should be used to carry out that movement. So if you give it the right signal, and, and using a therapy like neurokinetic therapy is a great way of saying to the brain, hang on, I'm not working. Well, why am I not working? Well, it's the scar tissue that's actually inhibiting those muscles. And we can change the signal that's coming back into the brain and going back out so that we get good movement, but ultimately first good stability, which will decrease the uh, amount of need for having to do lots of mobility work. Mobility is needed, but sometimes we over mobilize at the expense of stability. So if you have any scar tissue in your body at all, bear in mind that any insult to the body from a, a structural damage via surgery, via uh, an old injury that's caused any uh, Fiber, extra muscle fibre to be laid down, any change to the fascia, even any changes to the skin can change how we perceive the muscles that we should be using to bring about a movement. So bear in mind, it could be 30 years ago, it could be 40 years ago, I've seen scar tissue inhibit muscles from uh, uh, many years ago. I had a client who had a kidney removed at the age of one, he's now 40, and the scar tissue from that kidney being removed totally changed the way he was moving and uh, understanding what that scar tissue was doing to compensate for other other muscles that weren't working was a step in, in getting his rehabilitation issues resolved. So think about scar tissue. If you have pain, if you have movement problems and you have scars, it's most likely the scars that are causing the problems. And find someone that can get that checked out, whether it's understanding your mobility and stability and how that pertains to the strength that you have. It's a step in the right direction. If you have a scar, get it checked out.